Um, it's really good. I got uh, 300 hurdles last year, and I don't know, the one I barely beat, Jordan Rear, was 4A this year, so that was a little bit of a relief, but kind of missed that race with him. It's always fun. Um, but they didn't quite go as I was planned. I was planning, but uh, I don't know. I finished strong each 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 time, so I don't know. I felt pretty good. Um, yeah, I I gave it all. Our team gave it all. Our four by four. I mean, we left uh, nothing on the track. It was I don't know. It's a little disappointment, but we PR'd. I guess you could say that. You can't be disappointed with the PR. So it's a good day, but just not good enough. <laughs> yeah, they were. We, we came one point short, and uh, it was looking like we we're going to be like 30 points short. So we made up a big gap just <laughs> last event. Couldn't make it. but. I'm proud of how much we did make up. So. Well, just one point is the difference. Yeah. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, congratulations to Summit. They're a quality program. Obviously, they have great athletes, great coaching staff, and they competed well. Our, our goal was to compete with them, and I'm proud of our athletes. I'm proud of our coaches. Um, we didn't think it'd be quite that close at the last event. To have a chance like that really was special for our team. And for them to compete the way they did in that last relay, they, they let it all out for one another, and we're very proud of them. Yes. We actually thought Summit would run away with the boys' title, just like their girls did. Uh, what a fabulous girls' team. So for us to be that close, our, we, had some, we had some kids step up. Our high jumper won a state championship, and he was seated maybe fifth or sixth. You know, to compete that well at the state meet is testament to our, our young men and women.